I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, New York State Governor Cuomo signed a law that reduces the penalties for cannabis possession. Now, New York actually decriminalized small possessions back in 1977, but that didn't stop law enforcement from arresting over 300,000 people since then. And the majority of those people were black and brown. Now, this law reduces possession to just a fine, and it will allow some people to go back and expunge their record of previous marijuana charges. CanTrust announced that it was considering selling the company this week. It has been non-stop scandals for them since they admitted to growing cannabis in unlicensed room. Now, top executives apparently knew about it and condoned it. The CEO was terminated with cause just last week. Plus, there is a lot of talk of insider trading among the board members, some board members, who may have known about the illegal grows. There is no word yet on any interested parties. And speaking of beleaguered cannabis companies, Harvest Health entered a deal to secure a loan of $225 million at 8% interest. The company said it will use the money to fund expansion. Harvest Health came under fire for its aggressive expansion moves as Ohio questioned the company's ownership claims with regards to minority status. All those licenses are on hold and they may be revoked. Harvest may also lose its license for a facility in Carmichael, Pennsylvania. And another company that has had some trouble lately, Tilt Holdings refiled amended and restated management discussion and analysis documents for the year ending December 2018 and the quarter ending March 2019. That company got a lot of grief for taking a $500 million write down just weeks after going public. Okay, enough of the bad behavior, let's move on. Saul Global reported net income of $94.9 million for the year ending March 2019. Now, most of that money did come from the company's sale of its Latin American assets, which went for $297 million. But hey, still a great quarter. Next, Leaf Solutions common shares began trading on the OTCQB market this week. And last Friday, CanBio RX began trading on the NASDAQ, the folks right behind me. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt, back in Times Square, reporting for the Green Market Report.